What is up guys? Today we are on my farming series once again and today we will be doing some bailing. Uh, today we are going to be using the John Deere 7810. Uh, here, let's turn this off quick. Okay, today we are going to be using the John Deere 7810 with our brand new John Deere 690 baler. Or John Deere 100, my bad. So, without further ado, let's get moving. Now we're going to get this in the fields right away. I'm going to hire a worker on the baler if I can. And then I'm going to get the 7930 with the loader there. I'm going to get that hooked up to the gooseneck trailer. I'm going to get that all set up for uh, all the bales. So yeah. And if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Uh, it really help us out. It'll get us closer, uh, you know, to getting more subscribers and all that. So, yeah. Please subscribe. Alright, Baylor's unfolded. We're on. This thing is going to be doing some nice bail. This looks really good. Alright, we are on one of the last few passes here. Man, this is just taking a long time to do. Oh, who knew bailing a field took forever? We're getting there. We're getting there. It's just taking a little bit. And actually, uh, I have something to tell you guys. While we are recording this, uh, this is currently October 25th, 2022. Um, I am not going to be recording um, the rest of this week. Um, I have been selected to go with my school FFA to the National FFA in Illinois. Or really not Illinois, Indiana. In uh, Indianapolis, so I will not be able to record videos because I cannot bring my computer with me. Um, I wish I could, but I can't. But yeah, I will try and take as many videos as possible. And then I'll put them into a little montage and stuff, and I'll put it and I'll post it on my uh, channel, so you guys can see uh, what National FFA is about. And actually, uh, if you're going to be going, please let me know. I would love to meet you and uh, meet a fan or two. So yeah, I'll be there. Um, National FFA in Indianapolis, Illinois. And the owners of this map, in real life, the owners of this map, Farm, will be there. That's right, Welker Farms is also going to be at National FFA. If you do not know that already, yes, Welker Farms will be at FFA convention in uh, Indianapolis, India. So check it out. If you're going, please let me know. Uh, find me. I don't know where I'll be at time at the time, but I'll try and I'll probably stay. Kind of, if I'm at the convention, I'm probably gonna be near the Case Age booth with the Walkers, talking to them. But otherwise, I don't know. 
I do not know where I will be at that time. So, I don't know. We'll find out. We're gonna have to go on a little bit there. Oh, almost done. Bailing just takes a long time. And we're only doing the one side of the field for now. I don't know if I'm going to bail the other side. I might just... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bail the other side of the field or not. I may bail part of the other side and then just till the other stuff a little bit. Just because I don't know if I'm going to bail all of it. That's a lot of bales already. I'm just from this side. So, I don't know. I'm going to bail the other side. And some of you are probably going to wonder, how are you going so fast while bailing straw? Well, there's a mod on PC, uh, in-game mod hub for PC only. Uh, there's a mod called Real Speed Limit mod. Uh, Real Speed Limit. And you guys are able to, if you have a PC, anyone can get this. If you got a PC, you got FS22, you can get this mod on your PC. And it allows you to... If you're working any implement, say like this, bailing straw, you can set it, and then all you gotta do is uh, you just set it uh, with your keyboard and stuff, and it'll tell you it's Alt Zero, and then all you gotta do is just go, and then you can go as fast, and then you basically are going as fast as your tractor would be going down the road. So yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. It's a uh, it's pretty cool uh, pretty cool mod. Alright, let's turn it around here on the last pass of this field. Oh man, this is going to be a long time. We're almost done with the side though, so that's good. Oh lord. I'm trying to keep this tra uh, tractor as uh, straight as I can here. We're keeping her decently straight. We're getting there. There we go. See, we got her. Just had to maneuver a little bit. Just popping over the straw a little bit. That's it. Because we're almost done anyway. Alright, there we go. Unload. There we go, I'm the biller. Hold her up. And that's gonna be all I'm gonna bail on that for now. The rest of that I don't think I'm gonna bail. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. If I do collect any of that, I'm gonna probably get a loading bag or something. But really, I don't think I'm gonna bail the other side. I really didn't think about how much that actually kicked out. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bail the other side of that field. Ooh. Oh, I just hit this tractor and trailer. Oh well. That's okay. Let's put the baler in the shed here and we'll uh, collect maybe, we'll collect a few bales. I'm not going to collect the whole field. I'll, I'll collect the whole, f I'll collect uh, a couple of bales, but I don't want to make the video just like, like an hour long just collecting bales. Because obviously that's no fun for everybody. Just park the 7810 right here. That's fine. Alright, I suppose. Let's get the 5020 running. And then need the 7830. And then we're gonna use the follow me mod. Uh, we're gonna have the 5020 follow me. Uh, and the 7930. There we go. It took me a minute to get to figure it out. Okay. Is that following here? Oh shoot, why are the lights on? Track. Um. 
Ah, screw it. Okay, it's fine. We have, there's lights. Um, whatever. He's just being prepared, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna pull it to the field here. I get the 520 on the gooseneck because I need that tractor to be able to uh, stay in the field here to uh, be able to uh, haul the uh, bales. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know how good this is really gonna work. Two tractors out here. And I guess we'll see. I'm already kind of regretting doing it like this. I think I just can auto load Baylor. Yep, we're buying a new tractor. Seems right. Yup, we are not doing it like this. Screw that. I'm actually just gonna bring this back to the farm. I'll just leave the trailer hooked up to the tractor for now. I'll just leave it hooked up. So I don't feel like I'm hooking it and doing all that. It'd be fine. But yeah, that was a dumb idea. That would take forever. I mean, I guess not if you had a second person in the field, but it. Just, that's gonna take forever just for myself. And I don't have anybody to help me. See, that's what I need to do. I need to do a live stream. I need to figure out how to do YouTube live stream. I'm not good at that. You think it'd be easy, right? No, it's nowhere near easy. I don't know why it won't work for me, but I just can't get it to work. I don't know. It's just not an easy thing for me to do. Okay, we're gonna hook that there. Then I'm gonna unhook this little hitch, my bobby thingy I got. I'll keep that. I'll keep that little hitch around. I really got that just like pull the gooseneck trailer around to be able to load up uh, bales on it. Just pull up behind the 7930 is what my plan was, but that's gonna just take forever. So. I'm gonna detach my loader here. Now I gotta do teleport. I'm just gonna teleport it. Teleport the tractor over here to the shop. Pick up my new loader. I'm just gonna do it like this because number one it's ten times easier. I'm gonna put the loader back on the tractor so it's not sitting in the middle of my field here. Oh, there we go. Now I just gotta <coughs> get this unloaded here. Sorry about uh, my cough, guys. I'm just kinda sick lately, so. Yep, here we're gonna use the. Practical bales here. And yeah. There's that loader up all the way. Just part of the way. Oh shoot, I missed my bale. Back around and grab it here. Come oh, on, baby, turn, turn, turn. That was kind of a tech turn to do. Here we go. Oh, 
Ooh, look at that. Look at that trick. Hmm, nice. See, I'm so good, guys. I can make bales flip over and flip back over. I'm just too good. I'm too good with farmery and all that. Let's whip this around. I'm gonna get a full load and probably call it there. Oop, we're close. I think I can fit two more bales on the trailer here. I think it's able to take uh, 14, if I'm correct. Yeah, one more bale and I think it's full. Yep, there we go. There we go. Alright, we'll bring it back over here. And then we'll back it up in the shed. Ow! I don't know. We'll see how it does in the shed. I don't know how it's going to unload. Yeah, see, it's going to hit that roof. Shoot. I can always push him with the payloader or this tra the tractor here or something. <coughs> um, here, it's back up. Back it up over this way. Perfect, perfect. And just like that, unload. Perfect. It kind of worked, I guess. Now I just gotta find a way without tipping all the bales over to get them in there. Which I'm probably gonna tip them over anyway. But anyways guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, next time we will be uh, probably getting cows, cows or pigs, I don't know, we're getting animals next video, I guarantee it, I promise we'll get animals next time, so, but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, please subscribe, uh, and like the video down below, and I will see you next time, peace!